Yes, my people, good day. This is the repair video for that dot charger with the leaking oil filter housing. So here I am removing the lower intake, quote, the plastic lower intake manifold. And that's it right here. I removed the bolts. Everything also unclipped the plastic fuel line nipple. And now I am just removing it to expose the oil filter housing. See what that manifold look like? Yeah, yeah. 3D printed. Yo, I'm going to invest in a 3D printer now because I think that is the future right there. We're going to be able to print everything. So that's the oil filter housing right there. That's the new oil filter housing right there. Keyword, this is not an updated <laughs> piece. This is just a replacement piece from the dealer. So temperature and pressure probably. And um, coolant line hookup. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Gotta love it, boy. Gotta love it. Mm hmm. Yeah. So here's another view, or a better view, of what the oil filter housing looks like installed before this is the old one so before remove it so it's just sitting down in the valley there you don't really have a ton of space but you can get to every you can get to everything one key thing before you start pulling anything you see those open intake ports make sure that you stuff something down in there and cover them up because you never know you know the the the, the socket could fall off and it'll just fall off into the perfect one that's open and it just goes down into the combustion chamber are you in problem if that happened so make sure say so you, you you remove that so here after remove the bolts undo the coolant hose in the back and everything you lift it up so i made a big mistake right here right so i am going to just use this as a teachable moment for everybody let me make the mistakes point it out to you so you don't make the mistakes so what happened is yes when you pick this oil filter housing up if you didn't drain the cooling system down below this level here then the coolant start oozing up out of the openings and then goes down into the oil system make sure to drain the coolant first or you will have to do an oil change after this you're going to be doing an oil change anyway but when you pull this up, you're going to have a coolant leak. And that coolant leak is right by the um, the oil ports. So oil getting into the crankcase, but we're doing an oil change. So you have to set up your drain bucket. That's it. See what I'm saying? And that's it. Oil and coolant comes through here and it leaking right in this area. Right here. Somewhere leaking. But you see how oily it is. So there's a leak under here. Probably one of these gaskets might press out or plastic crack. Not to be sure. But this is defective. Ugh. So in situation like these, I use my handy dandy evacuator tool and um, evacuate the fluid from the valley area. I am also evacuating some coolant out of the ports because the, it, it's just flowing up out of there. So if when I'm doing this again, step one would be to drain the cooling system down below this level or just drain the cooling system right if you want to reuse the coolant just clean out the container that you're draining it in and you can reuse it it's fine don't worry about that you don't have to discard of it all right so i would just drain it down first and then remove the housing so that the coolant don't keep popping up you know the guys who work at chrysler they knew this so they were like i bet i bet he didn't drain it yep i don't work on these all the time so you guys are the pros on this so I definitely um, note this little step down and then I would be saving so much time with all of this evacuation stuff. So long story short, I'm just cleaning all of this fluid mess out of here and then I'll proceed with the repair. See what it look like there. And even though I evacuate most of it out, you see the coolant level just up right at the top right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, one of the reasons I didn't drain it is I don't like playing with the nipples on the drain plugs. After I evacuated some more, this is how I get the last bit of it. 
use like an old rag or old cloth or something with the blower just cover it over and just use the compressed air and it splashes everything up into the cloth and that's one easy way of drying all of that stuff out yes little tips and tricks you know tricks in the trade matches boxing business them say i don't know if it's matches box but i think it's matches boxing matches boxing business and don't forget to go and subscribe to my youtube channel